It is day 64, September 8th. I believe it's a Sunday. It is a Sunday. And I made it to Massachusetts. M.A. Man, that's amazing. Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, done. Now on to Massachusetts. Um, honest, To be honest, I woke up this morning feeling pretty glum. I don't know why, like, I just felt, I don't know, just down. So, you know, I had to do a little, this morning, I had to do a little bit of, like, meditation and prayer and, um, you know, to get me out of that. Um, and I know there's a lot of people out there who have qualms with God and religion and all that, but I'm not talking about religion and I'm not necessarily even talking about God. I'm talking about um, just being a spiritual person. And my spiritual person, um, you know, as far as teachings go, we only have so much teachings that we can adopt and, um, you know, use in our life is, is Jesus and Buddha. Um, and I... I if you'd seen my Georgia video, you know I'm an uh, alcoholic, non-practicing alcoholic. And my life was just spiral, spiraling downward. And I would surely be dead now. Um, but luckily, um, I got some kind of common sense. Uh, you know, went to a support group to stop drinking. And during that time, I studied Buddhism. Um, and then, uh, the teachings of Christ. And when I say that, I don't mean the Holy Bible. I don't mean going to church. I mean the Sermon on the Mount, the essence of Christ's teachings, which really don't have much to do with God and the afterlife, but more about being a good natured, um, person on this plane of existence and letting the light um, envelop you and take over so that the darkness can get pushed out. So whatever happens afterwards, you arrive on a good plane of the light. And that's just kind of my um, conception of it. And um, it really helped me and it's helped me straighten out my life. And I have, I'm not knocking religion or anything like that. I, um, I've talked about, I'm not a big fan of organized religion, but I understand that it's helped so many people. And yes, I know you can say, oh, but it's caused so much misery and stuff, but you could say that about everything. Like for instance, like these YouTube videos, YouTube in general, um, we call it, uh, YouTube university. I mean, you can learn how to do anything by watching YouTube, but you can also preach hatred and promote terribleness and um so everything is a tool of good and bad and so if that's your logic well that goes with everything you know um but anyways i'm totally getting off left field aren't i so as you can see feeling a lot better um that doing that always helps me seeing this massachusetts border helps me a lot too but also, I'm going into, the, even though it's still New England, I consider these the mid-Atlantic states because the towns are not as hiker-friendly, a lot of them, and finding places to get off and stuff is kind of a challenge and expensive. 
even though it's a more developed area, which is weird. So anyways, I have a buddy who lives in Massachusetts, Unicorn. I hiked with him in 2016, man, me and him. We had a great time. Honestly, he's probably my overall favorite hiking partner I had. As fun as just fun-wise. And um, he lives in Massachusetts, somewhere around here. And he wanted to meet me around North Adams to hike. So I'm hoping, I'm going to try to get a hold of him and see if he can hook me up, get me in town. Because I heard there are some hotels in that Williamston town. So, and I really do. I want to just get off and rest. Like my left knee, for some reason, it's not the knee I banged. My left knee has been kind of acting weird. That's the one I injured before the trail. So... I'm really like, anytime something happens with that knee, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, and I got to upload four more videos. And um, my tent is just nasty from all the mud in Vermont. I need to clean that for sure. I need to back flush my Sawyer. And I, need, I really would love to do some laundry. Um, so that's what I need to do. So I definitely need to take a pit stop. And... But there's also that part of me that's like, keep going, keep going, don't stop. And it's weird. It's this underlying current that just wants to drag you along. But it's like, I got to be like, hey, I got to rein it in and be like, listen, listen, calm down. Hold your horses. We got to take care of business. Then we can move on. Anyways, I know I'm acting a little crazy this morning for some reason. I don't think I'm exactly right up here mentally. Um today but hopefully i can get through this so i'm going to get to hiking southbound and i'll get back with y'all all right Hey y'all, so it is 9 o'clock, and look at that view, really nice view, I do think we need to cut some trees down though, just a few, we'd get a much nicer view, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm taking my time today, today I am sauntering down this mountain into town, it's funny, my buddy Bear Court, his wife sent me an Instagram um, it was a quote by John Muir. It was actually like, not just a quote, but like a paragraph about he was comparing hiking to sauntering. And I don't know, you could look it up. It's a really good, um, little paragraph or two. Um, but, but I really enjoyed it. And thanks Tara. I really needed it when you sent it to me too. Cause I was up, I was in that rush, rush, rush thing. Um, and but yeah today i am just gonna saunter take my time plus like i said my knees bothering me a little bit 
Um, but yeah, I think from now on, I'm going to every now and then just do a day where I sleep in, where wake up whenever I want, and that day I just saunter. Um, just take my time and saunter, stop when I want. Um, but most days I'll hike, of course, I'll be the hiker, but I think I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, so I'm almost into town and the trail, as soon as I got into Massachusetts, the trail just got gorgeous. It's crazy. It just like, I swear, just like that, it just got beautiful. And just like that, the mud stopped. So I don't know what that's all about. It's weird right on the border. Like, right on the border, right after the Massachusetts sign, there's a giant mud pit. <laughs> and then from there on out, it's just muddy. And as soon as you get on this side, it's not. It's lovely. Rocky and just cool foliage. I'm really enjoying it. And, um, yeah, so I'll get back to y'all when I get farther back down. All right. Hey y'all, so I made it to, I guess this is North Adams, I'm not really sure, I think the sign said it's North Adams, the edge of Berkshire, I don't know if that's the same town or what, because I actually did get reservations at the Holiday Inn, it's in Berkshire, and then I asked the lady, I go, but you're in North Adams, right, and she's like, yeah, so, I don't know, maybe they're the same place, not really sure, but it's funny, because the AT northbound goes right through that up that driveway through their yard i mean they have the at in their yard i don't know if that's cool or not <laughs> i don't know if i don't want all these like hikers hiking through my yard but whatever so yeah i'm gonna i guess i'm gonna get on google maps and try to see how far it is to my hotel um man my buddy mule i was hiking with I saw he had a post and he said some lady let him borrow her car and stuff. And man, I was hoping he'd at least offer to give me a ride, you know, after everything. But I guess not. I guess I might have to figure out a way to get there. I mean, it would have been nice, but you know, can't expect everything to go your way. So yeah, I'm gonna get off this, put, get Google Maps so I know where I'm going. And I'll get back with y'all. All right. Hey, y'all. So I made it to the Holiday Inn. I guess I'm in North Adams. Uh, the taxi driver was telling me that it's like Berkshire County. And there's a bunch of towns in Berkshire County. So it says North Adams. So I think I am in North Adams. As you can see behind me, there's a bunch of shops and stuff. And um, so that's good. And there's a Verizon, which I do need to go to the Verizon. And there's a fire department behind me and all the firemen are watching me talk on my phone. <laughs> oh well, I'm getting used to it. So anyways, I'm gonna go into the Holiday Inn, um, take a shower, and I'll get back with y'all. All right. Hey y'all. So, I made it into my room at the Holiday Inn, and I've been here for a little while. I actually got three videos uploaded. I did my laundry. I showered. Not in that order. Um, and I went and ate something real quick. I went, I went uh, just across the street and got some ribs at this um, gro at this uh, yeah grocery store. And it was, man, they were so good. Um, but yeah, that town is North Adams that I'm in. 
and so the thing is is for my resupply I was looking at it and I actually only have to get a few things because after I go up Mount Greylock and come down I go into Cheshire and there's a Dollar General and a um, Shell gas station that I can resupply at and then even the same day I'll go through the next town which um, it, there, you go right through these two little towns and they even have stores um, that I can get stuff to and then after that I go near a town but there's a motel really close and stores really close too I think it's called Lee Massachusetts so I'll either get enough food to get through that and go straight to Great Barrington or I might just get enough food because Lee is not that far go in there real quick and get enough food to go into Great Barrington. Um, I'm thinking Great Barrington will probably be my next stop. It's about, I think it's like 70 miles away, but I'll have a lot easier terrain, so I should be able to make it in about the same time that I was doing my 50 or 60s mile sections in between town. Um, so I think that's going to be my next big stop. Um, so I won't have to carry a lot of food for at least a few couple days or the whole haul there. And that would be nice because that's been my my Achilles heel is all the food I'm carrying. Um, so yeah, so I need to go get some headphones, a few food items, and, um, um, and North Adams. So y'all want to go check out North Adams? So that was North Adams, y'all. It's kind of a, not a huge town, but not super small either. Um, and it's definitely what I would think Massachusetts would look like or a town in Massachusetts. And yes, this Southern boy is out of his element. And most people looked at me like, what the hell? But I guess they don't know a lot about hikers. I honestly don't think a lot of hikers come in to this town and the um the people at holiday inn i had two of them ask me if i would come in back from a hiking trip and when i told them i was through hiking they just kind of looked at me like huh so i don't really think they get a lot of through hikers here either way i mean it's two miles from the trail like two and a half miles from the trail it has everything you could possibly want um the lodging's not cheap but hey you know um and i don't know it's got like um i don't know like 25 restaurants um a huge store so even if you don't stay you could just come in hang out and get back on the trail um, but there is also a grocery store like as you're heading out of the trail anyways if you walk like a mile to the right when you get to that williamston williamstown i think Anyways, yeah, that's North Adams. I'm going back into my room, and I'll get back with y'all. All right. Hey, y'all. So, I'm going to end it for tonight. It's about 8 o'clock, and um, I just ate Burger King. I've been getting my um, all my food ready and all my stuff packed up. Um I'm not sure. I was thinking I have a bunch of stuff I need to do. Like I need to get 
go through all my music and get a bunch of new music. Um, and I have a few other things like my tent really needs to be cleaned up because of all the mud. I didn't get to that. And um, so I'm not really sure. I'm kind of thinking I might take a zero tomorrow. But I'm not sure either. I'm kind of feeling antsy like I want to get back on the trail. So I don't know. I think I'm going to make up my mind tomorrow. So if I do take a zero tomorrow, I'm obviously not going to film. And I'm just going to concentrate on my tent. And then um, I, I want to get my music. Because what I did before I came out is I downloaded a bunch of music. Um, but it's kind of getting worn out. So I just kind of wanted to get rid of some of it and get a bunch of new music on. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, and, I, and my tent are the big things I want to do. Like, I really want to clean my tent. But anyways, um, I'm not totally sure what I'm going to do yet. But if I do get back on trail, I'll talk with you all in the morning. All right. <laughs>